Hello, my friends! Welcome back to the adventures of Eärendil. Last time, we have been exploring in Skyrim, going as far north as Solitude, and then came back south to cross the border into Hammerfell, where we are now in Dragonstar, pursuing the main quest, instead of continuing in vain to seek rumors of the Ogma Infinium. So, let's see what we can find out. We have two people here we can chat with. Who are you? Good day, High Elf. My name is Clancy, the city-state nomad. I go wherever my spirit moves me. Interesting. Heard any rumors? You know Northwind's prayer is coming up on Turtis, 15th of Evening Star. That's when the Brotherhood of the One ask only half the usual donation for any of the services there. That is true. I usually don't bother taking advantage of uh, discounts on special holidays and whatnot, but it's interesting that they included that in the game. Now, have you heard any rumors about a place named Fang Lair? I honestly have no idea. Try someone else, maybe they can help. Okay. How about you, good sir? Who are you? They call me Disam, the thief. I quite frankly steal things. Well then. Have you heard any interesting rumors? Nothing I can say. Dragonstar has been pretty quiet, actually. Do you know where Fang Lair might be found? I don't know much about Fang Lair, but something about it was mentioned by a traveler from Rihad. Maybe you should look there. Excellent. We'll take advantage of that tip. Travel all the way down here. Based on the current weather, it will take 24 days to travel here. Okay. Let's go ahead. You have arrived in the city-state of Rihad in Hammerfell Province. The date is Morndus, 28th of Union Star, in the year 3rd Era 389. It took 24 days to reach your goal. Rehad, southernmost port of Hammerfell, welcomes thee. Lay aside thy vice and avarice, and enter these walls as nobles. We wish you only a long life and prosperity. Now that we're so much farther south, we're seeing more of a desert climate, there's more warmth, People are not wearing as much clothing, as you can see here. Hi. Who are you? You can call me Kufti. I am an innkeeper, you know. I run some local businesses, like the Restless Cutlass and the Worms just around here. Heard any interesting rumors? I'll ask around, but I haven't heard anything lately that would interest you. Not even anything about Fang Lair? Check at the palace. They claim to have deciphered the location of Fang Lair from some ancient scrolls their guards found in a keep outside the city. Interesting. And where is the palace? I'm pretty sure it's south of here. Thank you. And we might take advantage of one of her inns if we need to spend the night. I don't recall if you can enter palaces during nighttime. Of course, it's not full nighttime yet because we still see NPCs wandering around. So it's not too terribly late. Anyway. During our last episode, I was not very effective in the way I was asking for rumors about the Ogma Infinium, unfortunately. I did read later on that once you find someone who is willing to tell you rumors of any kind, you can just keep repeatedly asking them for general rumors, and they will eventually give you some rumors about one artifact or another. And so, once we've made a little bit of progress in the main quest, we'll go back to searching for the Ogma Infinium, taking advantage of that trick. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> it was not night, it was very early morning. Excellent. 6.21 in the morning. I love these cacti. Hello there. Let's take a look at our map. See how much farther we need to go. Okay, there's the palace down there. South and a little bit east. Let's follow this way for a bit. Looks interesting. A little bit of a paved road. But now we'll depart from that. 
to the east. Many interesting folk around here near the palace. Alright. Save. And see what hints we can discover. Queen Blubanka's audience chamber is alive with excitement. Rehad and Tanith, the city-state's neighbor to the southwest, are at war talks. Naturally, this has caused a lot of the internal stress within Rehad. The queen is remarkably calm, hearing each of the citizens' concerns about trade and commerce. Very interesting. And here she is, Queen Bubanka. Welcome to Rihad, Eärendil. I am Queen Bubanka, and I agreed to tell you about Feng Lair for a favor. You see, not too long ago, a band of goblins, led by Golthog the Dark, attacked this stronghold. They carried away with them much treasure, including a parchment which held within its writings clues to decipher the part of the Elder Scrolls, which spoke of the location of the legendary Fang Lair. Golthog and his goblins fled to an ancient and ruined fortress called Stone Keep, outside the city. I fear that a large band of mercenaries or soldiers will be unable to find them. A single person, however, will be much more successful. Perhaps your arrival is fortuitous. If you would agree to try and recover this parchment, I will inscribe the location of the stone keep onto your map. If you are successful and return with the parchment, I will be able to decipher the location of Fang Lair. I promise to give you that location as a reward for your help. Do you agree? Yes. Excellent. Stone keep lies near Rihad. Be careful. Golthog is crafty and evil. It is even rumored that he is a necromancer serving the Under King. When you have the parchment, return with it here, and I will find out the location of Fang Lair for you. Queen Bubanka smiles broadly and motions for you to take her leave. Very well. I have nothing further to discuss. Okay. Then we will proceed out. I assume we have non-talkative guards as usual. Okay. Hello there. So, there it is, Stone Keep, now revealed on our map. Based on the current weather, it will take three days to travel here, 160 kilometers, okay? And finally, we are making some real progress in the main quest. A cracked sign, shrouded in dust, reads, Welcome to Stone Keep. Surrender all weapons to the guards, for we are the keepers of peace. The sign feels rather ironic now. Let us begin searching. We find skeletons and rats so far. I may want to cast shields. We have a lot of uh, additional spells now. One thing I also thought of after last episode is that it was not perhaps uh, useless for me to buy this free action spell. Uh, high elves are immune to paralysis, so I might not ever need that, but you never know. Sometimes funny things happen in, uh, in this game, in really any of the Elder Scrolls games, if we're being honest, so it might still be good to have that just in case. For now we are shielded, as it says there, and we're healthy. It's good to check for, you know, the possibility of having contracted any diseases now and then. Uh, you never know, especially when you're around rats and skeletons and whatnot. Oh my. The sword's still lodged in this skeleton, and I hear goblins. Servants of Golthog. 
There you are. Oh my. Let's try to keep their corpses separated from each other. That makes it easier to loot them. We have a lot of goblins, but they're not too tough. So, do we have any useful loot? Nothing here. This one? Nope. How about you? 15 gold pieces and a buffer. I thought there was another one. Did it disappear somehow? Hmm. Let's check our map. Go ahead and mark this as throne. I'm not sure it's really a significant throne, <laughs> but uh, it looks like it might be. There might be a more significant throne farther in, I don't recall. Save again. To be honest, I think I actually recall where I should go if I just want to quickly retrieve the item I'm looking for, but I want to actually roleplay this a little bit and do some more significant exploring. I may not try to explore the entire layout of this stone keep, but uh, some significant portion of it at least, such as some of these interesting central rooms. All overrun by goblins. One more, I think. Maybe not. I wonder if it would be safe to rest up on this raised platform. In my experience, not all raised platforms are safe for resting. It can be a little bit hard sometimes to judge which are and which aren't. Can try this. Excellent. Still shielded. It doesn't tell you exactly how much shielding you still have, so I don't know for sure if some of the shielding has got. Oh, we have a locked door. It'd be a miracle. If you pick this lock, well, I may have the miracle of the spell. Open. Success. Lizard man, hello. What's written on your shield there? I believe I hear another lizard man. Or something. Yes, indeed. And drums in the deep. By the way, these different types of swings and strikes. You know. You do the forward thrust, or diagonal swing, straight downward swing, or a straight horizontal swing. They all have slightly different properties. I don't bother trying to memorize what those are in terms of changes to accuracy or damage dealt. I just do a variety of attacks and uh, it tends generally to be effective. So I don't bother trying to get overly scientific about it. 
Also, I think it's fun to just do a variety of different attacks. As you may know, if you've ever played this game, the way you attack is by holding the right mouse button and then moving the mouse in various directions to do the different attacks. It's uh, an interesting approach, and I think it's actually pretty good. It does take a little getting used to, of course, but uh, that's not a problem. Now, just in case, I'm going to cast another shield spell and then rest again right here. Thankfully, once again, it looks like we are not being interrupted. The rationale seems to be that if you're raised up from the ground, your scent is not carried around as much. Oh, we have an orc. I have the high ground. Come on, orc. Why are you siding with these goblins anyway? You and those lizard men. You should find better friends. You know, one thing I also don't recall is whether Gorthog, or whatever his name is, the leader of the goblins, I don't recall if he is a character that you can actually meet, like a specific goblin. I don't think so. I don't think they bother naming a specific goblin or, or having a, a stronger than usual goblin or anything like that. Uh, but I could be wrong. The dagger. Let's look at our inventory real quick. Another lock. We could try to bash the door open, but I prefer to handle this with magic. Failure. Try again. Okay, there we go. Now, who is in here? Save again. Ooh, we've got goblins. You can hit two at once, as you can see here. Nice. Two or more. As many as fit within your range. The royal bedchamber. Where are you, goblin? have a book on the floor, which we sadly cannot read. This room and others nearby. Oh, what did that say? Let's see if we can bring up that message again. Come on. I think we should be able to bring up that message again. Maybe if I exit and come back in. Ah, this room and others nearby were offices at one time, but looting and decay have left them mere shells. Okay, what if we hop through here? There we go. Oh. 
If enemies aren't too close, I may be able to rest here. Nope. Bed chamber. Goblins. Okay. Got some interesting decorations here. Some kind of eagle or hawk. Fifteen gold pieces. Tapestries. A hookah? Very interesting. Ah, an old faded sign reads The king and palace are lost. We, the last survivors of the court of Stonekeep, are heading south through the goblins' caves. Very interesting. And we have some treasure here. Let's save again. to rest so we can cast our open spell again. I don't want to risk damage to the contents. Cannot camp enemies nearby. Hmm. Okay, let's find some safe location to rest. Perhaps in one of the royal beds if we can manage that. I believe you have heard the unique moan of a lizard man. The chest is moldy as if it had been submerged in water before being brought here. Interesting. I wonder if goblins brought it back from some watery location where it had been dropped to keep it safe from the goblins. Jump up here and get some rest. Jumping can be a little bit tricky in this game. Oh, hello, Orcs. <laughs> All right. Try to keep a distance. Ooh, this is getting risky. Save again. Used up all of our shielding. Oh, how I wish I had a dagger of agility or a buckler of agility. That would really help to increase not only my chance of hitting, but also my chance of not being hit. are a bit tough. Ideally you don't want corpses landing in the same spot because it can be a little bit difficult to loot both of them in that case, but oh well. A dagger is not a long-range weapon, sadly. attempt to rest. Let's 
Sometimes it takes a long time to heal. Over 24 hours. Over 30 hours. Okay. One. Let's cast shield and then rest again. Because shields do not go away over time. They only go away when taking damage in this game. It's a very nice benefit for mages. Oh, I forgot that those corpses would go away while I rested. That's unfortunate, but probably not a big deal. Typically, they only have a little bit of gold, maybe a mundane, mundane item or two. We have spiders. Spiders can paralyze you, but not if you're a high elf, thankfully. So I'm not too concerned about this guy. Still a creepy dude, though. I'm not a huge fan of spiders. Oops. With you died our last hope for justice. I should have saved after resting. Totally forgot to do that. But at least I had saved right before ending the fight. Very easy to die in this game. And I should have been a little more prepared to cast a healing spell there. that since I have the high ground, highly spoken of by the likes of Obi-Wan Kenobi, he may not be able to attack me as I'm attacking him. At least when I'm not only up high, but rather far away. Don't seem to be hitting this guy. Foul orc. Sadly, at this point in the Elder Scrolls series, you cannot play as an orc. They are only enemies. from this angle. I have to risk going down. Onto the ground here. Hopefully without alerting a spider. Don't think we're going to get anything useful there. Let's rest. Save again. The sense of atmosphere in the dungeons in this game is fantastic. I love the way everything looks and sounds, or at least most things anyway. Nasty spiders. Get on some high ground here. Hopefully take them out without taking too much damage. We still shielded? Nope. The shielding is gone. So I've added some new shielding. Oh boy. Light heal. I heard you from here. Good. Okay, now I think it might be at a safe enough distance. This is such a difficult... This is such a difficult game that I don't mind using these kinds of tactics sometimes. 
You've got to keep yourself safe as a lone adventurer. Come on. It does get a little bit tiring now and then. After a while. It's part of what makes the fighting actually a bit realistic. That you do have to do some actual physical movements of your own to do the swings. Not very much movement, but still. More than nothing. Whereas in most games, you're simply pressing a button or clicking the mouse button. Spiders are tough. As you can imagine, they're all the more deadly when they're able to paralyze you. Very nice type of immunity from that sort of thing. In addition to venoms that can paralyze you, there are also venoms or poisons in this game, I should say. Poison effect is separate from paralysis, and I don't think high elves have any particular protection from that. Come on, die already. Okay, one of them's dead. One more to go. Okay. If you're wondering if it's worth looting the bodies of spiders, and other such creatures. They actually do sometimes have gold on them, as illogical as that may seem. It does sometimes happen. There we go. I can't deny that sometimes this aspect of combat can perhaps seem a little bit monotonous or repetitive, and I apologize if the sounds and the monotony are a bit annoying. I'll try to get through these kinds of things as quickly as I can, of course. But this early in the game, it will sometimes take a while, and I will have to resort, as I said, to these types of tactics where I can just slowly take them down. Later on, I'm sure I'll be able to make better use of more of my offensive magic spells. This spider is tough. That is quite some exoskeleton they have. Either that or it's just tough to get a really good hit in as they're moving around. There we go. Gained a level of experience. How many points? Five. That's good. Goes up to six as the max. Three, I believe, is the lowest. So, five is a good number. Hmm. Excellent. That gives us plus two health and healing modifier. By health, I believe they mean plus two to my bonus hit points per level. Three more points to assign. I could try to add to my spell points or magic defense. Let's go ahead and put it into spell points. Okay. We will save. What if I can cast shield? Great.
will save again. It's important to save in multiple slots, and don't be too quick to overwrite your earlier saves. The reason why I'm not touching ARENDEL 1 and 2 is because ARENDEL 1 is where I first started today, and ARENDEL 2 was a save that I had made before traveling to this location. Um, ideally, I should have saved again right before traveling here, but it's good to have at least some save that's prior to when you go to any major location like this, because you never know if you might end up in a situation where a later save gets corrupted, or you get in a situation where it's uh, next to impossible to get out alive. So, multiple save points in multiple locations are important. Now we face our first skeleton. I wonder if I can get you with a fire dart. I think I did. We don't have HP indicators in this game, for better or for worse. I'm actually fine with that. I don't mind not being able to see exactly how much health they have left. I think, in a way, that adds to the, the mystery and the sort of anxiety of the fight in a, in a mostly good way. I suppose it could be a bad thing too, of course. Some people don't like that, but I think it's okay. You're never quite sure exactly how close they are to dying. Let's cast... Oh, shield again. Good. Still have some shielding. And we're still healthy. Let's look at our map. Hmm. Let's go back in this direction. We'll rest again and then take advantage of our spell points to go open those treasure chests and see what they hold. Beautiful. Don't have any chests here. Do have one over in this corner. This moldy one. Okay, I think our spell failed. Trying to cast it again. Hmm. Seems like it's failing. I don't still have the spell activated you right now. Okay. Well, I wasn't getting quite as much feedback as I was expecting. Let's rest here on the royal bedchamber. No disrespect intended to the former inhabitants enemies nearby. Okay. We'll try again. Not working. 
still not working. I'm pretty sure the open spell should work on chests as well. You save? Well, let's try the other treasure chest here. And later, we will go as they did into the south to the goblins' caves. See if there are any survivors. Ah! The chest opened. 73 gold. And the plate pauldron. Let's try the other one again. Did not work. Don't want to rest or we'll be interrupted. Okay. Sorry, this is taking a while. Save again for good measure. Okay, we will try this again. I don't know if our angle matters here at all. Huh. We'll keep trying until this works. Trying again. Okay, that does it. Just to try to bash this thing open. Perhaps the fact that it was submerged in water for a while makes it difficult. more difficult to open. Wow. We're having difficulty with our dagger, We're trying to pry it open here. But eventually, it should come loose. Come on. We could, of course, try some lockpicking, but that will almost certainly fail every time for a mage like us. We're not 
skilled in that sort of thing. This is horrible. Come on. We're probably damaging our poor dagger. Condition worn. Yeah, let's load a recent save and undo that damage. come back to this later, but for now, let's move on. Let's uh, get rid of that. So yes, you can delete notes. Let's try chest there, and maybe we'll come back later. I believe the success rate of the open spell is partly based on your level. There are some lizard men on the other side of this wall. We need to get our spell points back up. So let's rest one more time. We're still shielded. So, let's move on, following the path. Oh, we're kind of stuck. Do you ever get kind of stuck in a spot like this, where we're sort of, sort of stuck in the wall here? Do a forward jump, that should get you out. With default controls, that's Shift-J, capital J. We, the last survivors of the Court of Stonekeep, are heading south through the Goblin's Caves. So apparently the goblins... Oh, hello, lizard man. Apparently the goblins carved from their caves into this portion of Stone Keep. Perhaps that's what happened. They delved greedily and deep and were mightily rewarded for doing so. But... They're also now being... Severely punished, I would say. We're not going to let them get away with this. Nor their allies, the lizard men, the orcs, or any nasty creatures that follow them, like the spiders. Nor any undead that they've raised, such as that skeleton we defeated. shielding, unfortunately, but uh, we're still doing okay. All right, now, I'm gonna do a little save. We're still shielded. I'm gonna cast shield again. And rest up. Uh-oh, enemies nearby. That's not good. Also, I forgot once again to loot those bodies before resting, but hold on. Can I jump up there? Not quite. And I'm probably stuck now. Oh my. Wow. Okay. I may have really gotten my stuff, myself stuck this time. Let's see what I can do. Okay, good thing I saved recently. Let's load up. 
And this time we will not bother casting another shield or resting up. Let's just see. We can find a way to search for any potential survivors. And yes, we can search some of these bodies here. Dagger. These lizard men seem to be distinct from the Argonians, by the way, in case you were curious. Because you can play as an Argonian, and they look different than these lizard men in this game. They do look somewhat lizard like, um, but not quite as animalistic as those lizard men. The sort of different proportions. Oh, skeleton time. Okay. Seal up. Or maybe shield up. Get to some high ground. It should help us. And we'll take them one at a time. Justice. Tharn is now free to do as he will. So once again, we'll load this save. Do a little loot. Move on. Check my map again. Let's go this way instead. Enemies nearby. Oh, lizard men. I like the lizard men because they're not too difficult to defeat. And not too deadly. Come on. Shield up. This might be what we heard from the bedchamber. These two lizard men. Or those might have been the ones we defeated earlier. I'm not sure. Slay you both at once. Check our map. Okay. Sure enough, we're on the other side of the wall from that bed. Might be safe to rest here now. Save. And here we go. Good. Cast shield again. Rest again. Rinse and repeat. For now, we just need to be very careful like this. Very, 
interesting. I think I hear the grunting of an orc. Ooh, now we have rats. Have some light sources up ahead. Investigate this light source up here. What room is this? Some other bedchamber, perhaps? An old faded sign reads The king and palace are lost. We, the last survivors of the Court of Stonekeep, are heading south through the goblin's caves. Okay, so they had left a message here as well. We have strange, partly invisible beds. Another hookah. Okay. Ooh, we have a wolf attempting to get in here and having some difficulty. <laughs> and we can see it through the wall. You know, that's just uh, what's so special about elf eyes. What do your elf eyes see, Arendil? A great wolf through this wall. Now we can reach it through the doorway. And luckily, what we get is not reaching us. Ooh, there's one more. We can hear more of the mournful howling. Keep in mind is we do have a spell of invisibility we could use to sneak around without getting any unwanted attention for a while if we so wished. Although I think you might lose the invisibility if you ever open a door or do any other significant action like that. I haven't experimented with that much in this game so we might have to play around with that sometime. Wolf has nothing usable. We're still shielded. Let's save again. Check our map. Interesting. Glance in here real quick. Ah, we have some waterways. Possibly that was even used as sewage. Who knows? So for now, we will avoid going swimming. Instead, well, do I want to peek north a little bit? Maybe just slightly. I should also be checking for hidden doors now and then. Locked door. It says the lock is an insult to your abilities, so perhaps we could pick this lock. Yep. So very easy locks we are able to pick. That's good. Good to know. And here we have a section. Okay. not finding a lot of treasure or loot piles, unfortunately, but uh, later on we should find some, I think. In any case, let's move our focus south again. Try to go south through the caves, as these survivors did, at least for a time. We glance quickly in these rooms. Again, no treasure. Presumably any significant treasure may have already been looted by the goblins and taken to some other location. 
Once again, we heard drums in the deep. Rather unsettling. We don't have much to fear from the goblins themselves, nor the lizard men, nor too much from the orcs, but the skeletons are a bit more fearsome, as are the spiders. So, we'll follow south through these tunnels. which may connect in places to Goblin Caves. I don't think we want to go this way. Oh yeah, we can. This is fine. We go south this way. Save again. Hmm. going to say we do have a light spell if we get tired of having such limited visibility. You may not want to waste spell points on a light spell too often, but once in a while it could be fun. again. And let's see if we can rest. Nope. We did not get away with that this time. What enemies are nearby, I wonder? Could be over this way. Or that way. Who knows? Go in this direction. Okay. Is that the grunting of an orc? Yes, it is. gold pieces and a potion. Did I see movement there? Maybe not. It's possible I can safely rest here. Save again. Cast shield again for good measure. I'm not sure if it will stack, but it should at least uh, bring it up if it had been diminished a little bit. In fact, I'm going to glance at my spell book a little bit. I want to double check a couple things. Let's get our light spell. Creates a globe of light for 10 rounds per level. The light follows the caster. Casting cost of 20. It 
15 hit points shield created, plus 5 points every one level. Okay, so that's what our shield spell is all about. And what about open? 20% chance of magically opening a locked door or chest. Chance increases plus 2% per level. Okay, so if we level up a little bit, that'll increase our chances of opening that chest that we saw. Invisibility. Invisible for five rounds plus one round per level. Okay. Each round lasts about six seconds of real world time. Cool. Wanderlight. Creates a globe of light for five rounds per, lo per level. The light is a projectile. And I think that's enough for now. Let's glance and levitate. Caster can float for five rounds plus one round per level. Great. Okay, let's move on. And just for fun, let's risk a bit more light. Nice. Which way do we want to go? Probably south. Okay, now that we've accidentally gotten wet, might as well swim a bit more. Or do we want to see what's over there? Let's go south for a bit. Again, Eärendil is clinging to some hope there might still be survivors. Well, that is unlikely. And for what it's worth, with my knowledge of the game, I'm pretty sure there's not any dungeon in this game where you find survivors. Not unless it's some kind of special quest where you're rescuing someone or escorting someone. Interesting. Let's go farther south. These must be parts of the Goblin Cave. Thankfully, enemies do not attack you in the water in this game. Or at least not, like the enemies don't get into the water themselves. They can attack you from land if they're close by, though, so I need to avoid that possibility. <laughs> Speak of the devil, we have spiders. Let's keep moving. Check our map. Stone Keep is an interesting dungeon. I like all the flavor text they have in here. We might see some more here pretty soon. Get out of the water so that we can attack if need be. Oh, excellent. Now I don't have a short bow or anything like that. I think our character might be able to use short bows. I'm trying to recall. Uh, maybe wrong about that. I'll have to look into that. But if we can't seem to hit him from here, we can use fire darts, but that would take a lot of spell points. There we go. Let's get rid of this spider. Nasty arachnid. Apparently there's a mod that will replace spiders with, I believe, uh, some kind of, uh, some kind of sprite in the game that uh, was part of the game files but wasn't used. I think it's some kind of a, a woman, a human woman model of some kind. Um, I forget exactly what the sprite looks like, but uh, it's kind of an interesting idea. 
I guess for people who are really arachnophobic and just do not want to see spiders at all, there's a mod for it. Cool. Surprise, surprise. Spider has nothing usable. You can see the red bar that is our stamina is a bit low after swimming for a while. Which way do we want to go? We're quite a way south of the bedchamber now. I wonder if it's safe to rest. Might be. Save. No ghouls. Ghouls can be pretty nasty. I don't recall if they're capable of paralysis. But... Hold on. Do you have any shielding? Oh, we're diseased. We have plague. Wonderful. Yeah, they can definitely give you diseases. That's one of the real risks of these monsters. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to mess with this at all. Let's load that save we just made. Being diseased is no joke. That's one of those things that can really ruin the dungeon run. I think some diseases might be capable of killing you while you travel. You know, they kill you over time, I think. So being able to cure disease is very important. I think I do have some potions. Let's double check. Yes, we do have a potion of cure disease if we ever feel like that's necessary. But for the most part, I'm just going to try to avoid it. Even if that does mean safe scumming a little bit, I am not against safe scumming. <laughs> save files exist for a reason, especially in a very difficult RPG like this. There's no shame in loading a save to avoid a negative outcome. Most of the time, anyway. Of course, sometimes it is good to just move forward with a negative outcome. Uh, that can be an important part of roleplay sometimes, but I don't think it's always necessary. Okay. Slain another wolf. Our light spell has worn off. There might be more flavor text a little bit closer to the bedchamber. Hmm. Let's go back around toward that location. See, see if there are any more signs or parchments left behind by the humans. Presumably most of the people here who were trying to survive would have been Redgar, I assume. Oh boy. This is not good. Cast shield again. Ghouls are a very unpleasant sight. They're somewhat tough enemies in addition to being carriers of disease. And like I say, if we were not a high elf, it's possible that they could even cause paralysis, though I don't remember for sure. We're diseased. That's no good. With and you we're died done. our last hope for justice. Okay. Let's load again. This time we'll go north. And oh, we have a spider. We can take advantage of this corner. Corners are another excellent tactic for 
killing enemies without putting yourself at too much risk. No shame in that. Not in this game. Almost anything can kill you if you're not careful enough. It's actually one of the things I like about this game is the real sense of risk and danger. You really do feel like an adventurer exploring an interesting to very dangerous world. That helps make the name feel appropriate too. This world truly is an arena. Okay, spider. Time to die. Come on. Killed one, now there's another. This is a bit tedious, but I'm grateful at least that it's not ghouls. I'm not currently at risk of catching disease. Come on. Quickly now. Finally. Ooh, a level of experience. Four points. Good enough. I won't bother loading a recent save to get a higher value than that, I think. Hmm. I would like our agility to be higher. That's not quite enough to increase our two hit and two defend, but next time we will be able to get those higher. So, let's call it good there. And save. And perhaps we can rest up here. Still have some shielding. Orcs nearby. Okay, there we go.
There we go. Staff. There might be another orc nearby, we better watch out. Let's go north a little ways. Shield again. Cool. Buckler. I think that's it. back here, hoping to see more messages from the survivors, though they are probably survivors no more. here. Save again. Enemies nearby. Darn it. No, stay behind the corner, please. Let's use the corner trick. Come on, don't get me. Oh, there we go. That might be good enough. Skeletons are kind of tough. Oh my. We got some more shielding. I think there's one more skeleton. Possibly. Maybe not. Drums in the deep. Let's rest if we can. Nope. Not right here anyway. What about up here? A little farther away. 
Okay, we've gotten stuck in a strange spot again. There we go. Jumped out. Yeah, I was afraid of this. again. There we go. Thirty six gold, nice. If you ever do want to quickly recast your most recent spell in the middle of a battle or whatever you're doing, like I just did, that is Shift C, capital C, for using default controls. Oh my. Tomb. Or perhaps an altar of some kind. Oh my, here we have a strange altar indeed. So we are definitely already in this area, just south of the bedchamber. We are in the caves of the goblins for sure. I figured that was the case, but this confirms it. Very interesting helmet down there, reminiscent of the uh, horned helms popular in Skyrim. This way in south and more in west. We still have some shielding. Oh my. I think those are the sounds of spiders. to say. I tell you what, this area, it's a bit too perilous for Eorendil's taste. He's considering going back north for a bit.
failure. Open spell, failure again. You can sleep on the bed, possibly. Shield again. Rest again. Save. Beautiful. We'll go ahead and use our shortcut. Our secret passage. This way. And let's check out this direction. Here's the bedroom. Uh oh. Hello, goblin. Disturbed you, did we? Has nothing usable. Hmm. Where are you? Gotcha. Wait for a bit. Uh oh, who's opening doors? Where are you? Oh, right in front of me. Gotcha. behind us. I think I heard another goblin. Well, we'll keep moving on. Hopefully avoid any ghouls. An old faded sign reads, we are following the goblin tunnels to the north to make our last stand. Very good. That's the kind of info I was looking for. So let's save again here. And hope against hope that some of them survived. Uh oh, what's going on? My work has got me pinned down. Cast shield again. Two of you. 
cast Light Heal, just in case. Cast it again. Good. Dagger, potion, and what else? Dagger again. Okay. We might be able to safely rest here. Shield up. And on we go. They said they were heading this way for their last stand. Who knows what perils we might face in this direction. Interesting statue. Interesting watery area. Kind of a subterranean lake that they took advantage of here in Stone Keep. Well. Do this one. See what we can find. A ghoul. That's not good. Okay, let's take stock of the situation here. We see torchlights there on that, what may be a small island. And we feel that that is probably our primary destination. Skeletons, oh no. At least they're not as fearsome as the ghouls. Up here, hope for the best. Oh no. Moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. What can we find here? What can we find here? Oh my. Jump. What do we have here? You have found the parchment the court at Rihad can use to discover the location of Fang Lair. Excellent. So. Let's save, and uh, hope for the best. I'm going to create a new one here. Might as well take advantage of more of these slots. And this is not good. It takes some more treasure. We are diseased. Can we open this? Nope. With you died our last hope for justice. Okay. Let's load that, and there's a couple things we could try. Let's see if we can open this. It opens. Let me save again. And we are being a, perhaps a bit foolhardy to go for so much treasure. Oh no. Oh no. 
If we jump up there and then we cannot, we're gonna die. Light heal and shield. And jump up here, please. Jump up. There we go. Beautiful. There's one over there. Okay. Let's see which way we might get out of here yet. A body. Oh no. We need to move on. We took some hits from behind as we jumped into the water. Sadly, it seems likely that there are no survivors at this point. Indeed, some of those ghouls and skeletons could be the remains of former survivors of Stone Keep. What? That is not... Okay. I think I just accidentally recast shield, but fair enough. Let's hope we can survive this encounter with the skeleton, and if so, we might be able to make it to an area where we can rest safely again. At this point, we just need to get out of here and get back to Riha. Hey, Rendil has decided he's lost interest in trying to collect all of the treasures that this area might contain. We simply will most likely not be able to recover to recover all that was lost during the onslaught from the goblins. Try to get away from all these skeletons and ghouls. Get to an area of safety. Eastward is where the throne room lies, and there may be some safe spots to rest on the way there. Here we go. Not bad, not bad. Uh oh. I believe we just heard a door open. Wolves. Uh huh. Save again. Try to rest. Good. Shield. And perhaps we can get out. Check something here. Whoops. We are still healthy. That's good. So, we made it through a little tunnel, a little passageway between the subterranean lake and this bedroom area. It's not 100% clear whether this area was previously used by humans or perhaps was previously just used by the goblins. I'm not 100% sure about that. 
but it's very interesting. I love the sense of history and atmosphere implied by so much of this area. For now, we are done sightseeing and treasure gathering. We've gotten the main thing we came for and much else besides. We are content to move on. I think we have another one behind us. Shield up. And where are you? No? I thought there was. Okay. I guess not. Cast light again. We're back in the throne chamber. Slain another goblin. With any luck, we might have even slain the king of the goblins, but I doubt it. Let's move on and get out of here. Goodbye, rats. Let's travel back to Rihan. Three days travel. You have arrived in the city-state of Rihad in Hammerfell province. The date is Lourdes, 12th of Morning Star in the year 30 or 390. It took three days to reach your goal. Rihad, southernmost port of Hammerfell, welcomes thee. Lay aside thy vice and avarice and enter these walls as nobles. We wish you only a long life and prosperity. Beautiful. Well, that will do it for today. We'll continue this quest next time. So for now, please like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see more, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash thedrake, and I will see you next time.